Brian says, so we had a partner for 365 and wanted to move away from them and go direct to Microsoft. After buying and assigning the license, the licenses, nothing is connecting. Even webmail is giving an error. I was able to get on account to work and that's it. Any ideas? Huh. This this is really this is really confusing because yeah. changing changing partners doesn't change anything with your licensing. Right. It it has nothing to do with it. All it is is it adds a partner ID to your three sixty five account. Um and they even have now the multiple which, partner IDs going to be associated with it, which they didn't used to have. It got right. extended. And, right. Know, so you have the partner of record, and you can have yeah. other partners that do activities. Now, I will say that if they were using a partner that was actually an MSP, so the MSP was actually, you know, had the IDs going, uh, licenses and IDs going through them to Microsoft in terms of, you know, how some MSPs are actually, you're using their mail system, but it uses 365 in the background. So users don't have to get exposed to Outlook or anything. They get exposed to, you know, whatever mail front end that I, you know, web front end that they want their users to have or what they provide. I've seen that before when you like buy hosting plans, they'll give you this, you know, free squirrel mail or whatever they give you. Um, but it may be 365 in the background. So if that's the case, then yeah, your partner is, maybe messing with the mail, the mail and the licenses somehow. Um, but that's highly unusual. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's something would that would not be good for their business. You need no, to make it as easy, no. easy, both the MSPs need to make it easy to both the onboard and offboard. That's right. part of the model. Right. And that's part of the, yeah, they actually are required to do that by Microsoft. Yep. So it, it doesn't make, I, I guess the question to me doesn't make a lot of sense in terms that it doesn't work. What doesn't work? Um, this is another question of we need more input, right? Because it it, it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. And just switching to Microsoft, Microsoft actually <clears throat> isn't Microsoft actually isn't a partner. Just so you know that, um, if you're switching to Microsoft, you're switching to support tickets through 365. Um, unless you're paying for TAM or something like that, which I you for 20 licenses you're not. Um, but, you know, you're not getting that, that touchy feely from an actual partner. You're just working directly with the folks that are, are running the shop. So, well, yeah, you're just using the SaaS services. You're, you're actually back to they're they're your IT support for those apps. If you're going direct to Microsoft, yeah. um, yeah. it, you're really talking about you're back in charge of your own systems there. So. Right. I mean, I'd say like even webmail, like why would you be using webmail if you've got 365 for this? It, well, unless he means OWA, I don't know. I, I don't, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, um, Brian, this is the, one of those where I think we need more, we have more questions to clarify around this, but, but I think that main point, I mean, I, uh, that the fact that, you know, changing a partner does not, if you're moving from a partner to another, but even in no this effect. case, if you yeah go back and look at your partner agreement around that of whether you know what those the the what was actually licensed did they transfer those licenses yeah. is there so are they throttling something cuz they still own you know that the, those licenses i mean you need to make sure you understand what moved did, did you have license for license the same features the same capabilities the same apps that you're paying for I mean, he could have, they could have went from a, you know, a, like an office basic, um, you know, 365. I don't know even know what it's called now, but the basic plan. Uh, and maybe they were buying through the other provider, a business standard or something. Yeah. So now they don't even have email access because they're, you know, they're web apps only. Um, you, you thought know, it was cheaper, like right. And now, yeah, right. I don't know. So that would be a nice call into Microsoft support and take a look at what's on your Indeed. system. Have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. I hate doing that to people. Well. <laughs> Listen, well, come on. Oh. We all know that you're you're talking about a minimum of two hour phone call. Like just get, <laughs> sitting there waiting and all the pausing. Minimum of two well, hours. And now you've just you've just uh 
you know, got snowballed that effect system. because you've just taken away your partner and you're dealing directly with Microsoft. Yeah. No, I was going to uh, think of, oh, because I just, my name is now on a list is <laughs> for having said that. My name is Mike Nelson, N-E-L-S-O. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs>